The church and state partnering in the war on crime as they work to create safer communities. The latest team effort took place in an inner city area which has its share of crime. Fern Carey has that story. The Village Keepers Initiative is a partnership between religious leaders, the police and residents in the Bain and Grantstown community. It's not new, but National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage, who grew up in Bain and Grantstown, believes the concept will play an important role in reducing the level of violent crimes, especially among young people, while addressing other social ills in the inner city community. If I leave this area, worse than it was when I was a boy, shame on me. And so, for me, this is personal. This is very personal, that we have to improve these communities, one by one, person by person, and create opportunities. Could you imagine? I was born on history. I got the opportunity to go to university, to become a physician, to serve the country as a politician, and I can't create that same platform for other young people. The idea for Village Keepers was born back in 2010 when Dr. Nottage, the MP for Bain and Grantstown, says he became so frustrated by the level of violent crime in that area that he reached out to every religious leader in the community for help. As a result, church leaders threw their support behind the initiative. Meantime, Bahamas Christian Council President, Reverend Ranford Patterson, believes the initiative can work in communities throughout the country. We need this, we need this kind of collaboration. We need this kind of interaction and working together throughout the length and breadth of our country because there are many communities that perhaps are not a part of the inner city who need the same level of involvement by the police by the church and by the family and so um, dr knowledge and, and to all of you who are responsible for this program we ask you to please consider going not just on this side of town but in the Michael area, as well as other areas that we believe that this program can make a difference. Assistant Commissioner of Police Leon Bethel agrees. This is a, a, a refined approach to community policing. Uh, the police did not drop out the sky. I need you to know that. Uh, many, many moons ago, there was a community, no police. The leaders of the community decide that we have some rules and regulations that we want to enforce. Farron Carey, CNN News.